Okay, like I said, this is part two of the video I just did. You know, taking my kids to school and everything. Um, just, just really profiling my life. That's what I'm doing. Because there is a lot more that goes on to my life than just what you see, like I said, on YouTube. I don't want to keep repeating myself, but I have a lot more priorities. I have a lot more things going on than just YouTube. And to me, it's interesting. As I said before, this is right here. This is where I worked before I had my stroke. I spent many days driving up and down these roads. Many days. Taking care of business. Trying to take care of my family. And this is the high school where I did janitorial work quite a few years. One of the questions I want to ask you while I'm driving though is what do you plan to do with your life? Where is your life heading? Um, One of the, the reasons I chose to try to get a job at the high school here is because I know these kids are getting ready to experience real life. Getting to experience life for real. Okay? And somebody needs to be at the final stages before they step out of the boat, quote unquote, and begin to um, become adults. So I didn't mind Telling the kids when I felt like they was wrong and which direction I felt like they should take. I didn't mind at all. So, but I'm, um, that's just me, man. If I can, if I can help somebody along the way, if I can, you know, be there for somebody else coming through the test that I just came through. That's what I want to try to do. You know, it ain't just about me having all this knowledge and information and different things. I want to be able to help somebody else. We living in a different generation, man. These kids are faced with a lot more than we were faced with. And they have to be the ones to sustain the country long after we're gone. This is what I do. I'm almost home. But what are you doing to make a difference in your life? What are you doing to make a difference in the lives of the people around you? What are you doing to make a difference in your present world? When you stand before God, what will you be able to say that you did with the life that he gave you? What will you be able to offer him back for the life that he gave you. So when I when I do a stand before God, I don't want to appear empty-handed. I want to take somebody with me. I want to bring somebody else into the kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. 
I want to hear him say, well done, good and faithful servant. Not just for me sitting down and doing nothing, but I want to work for the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's the end of that video. Be blessed. Have a good day in Jesus' name. Amen.